what's up guys. Today, I'll show you an apocalypse horror film, Cargo. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with Andy, his wife, and their one-year-old baby daughter living on a houseboat in rural Australia. They have lived in that setup for quite a while after a virus has taken over the world, turning people into zombies within 48 hours. While relocating for the night, Andy notices two children playing on the river shore. Andy shouts at them, but the children's father flashes the revolver after noticing him. Andy continues to cruise not to get into any trouble. Later that day, Andy fishes a pack out of the river containing a bracelet that measures the time left for the infection. There's also an injection to neutralize the brain of the infected, which is used before they transformation. The wife informs him that they are running out of food supply and suggests refilling on land. However, Andy debates her plan. As the morning comes, the scene shows a young aboriginal girl attaching leaves to her shoes. While sailing, Andy spots an abandoned sailboat and proceeds to investigate it. Fortunately, it has a lot of supplies, including a bottle of wine, which Andy takes. While looking for more, he hears thuds from the door, prompting him to leave. He presents the supplies to his wife, who's initially skeptical, but changes her mind when Andy reassures her it's safe. After finding the bottle of wine, Andy surprises her for their anniversary. She goes to check out the abandoned sailboat. She's searching for other valuable things when she hears a thud from the door. She prepares to leave when a zombie presumably emerges from that door and attacks her before she can go. Baby crying wakes Andy, who realizes that his wife has been gone, and he searches for her. He notices the blood on the floor and follows it to the bathroom, where the wife attempts to restrain the blood flow from a bite on her knee. She promptly wears the watch from the pack, while Andy puts pressure on her wound. She apologizes for endangering them, but Andy calms her down. The wife is next seen investigating the neutralizer injection, but she hides it under the pillow after seeing her husband approaching her. They discuss their plan. She insists that the thing that bit her has fingers. So, for their daughter's sake, the family decides to abandon the houseboat and venture to the nearest hospital. On the other hand, the aboriginal girl named Thumi finishes her drawing and leaves the sketch of a man with his head on the ground. She then takes a dead rabbit carcass and tosses it into the pit, where a zombie is presumably living. Thumi covers her ears as she hears gargling. Meanwhile, the couple finds a vehicle. While Andy fills the gas tank, his wife notices a brownish lime on the back seat. She turns on the signal lights, and Andy quickly closes the gas tank after seeing the blinker. A zombie approaches their vehicle, and the family narrowly evades it and drives away to the hospital. They stop on a deserted stretch of road, so Andy can analyze the map while his wife changes baby's diaper. He suddenly collapses off screen, so Andy exits the car, only to find her convulsing and throwing up blood. Andy holds her steady until she calms down. After returning to her senses, she checks her wound to see it oozing brownish slime. Panic and fear set in, and she attempts to exit the moving car. But Andy grabs her back. He quickly stops the vehicle, and his wife promptly leaves it, knowing it's a matter of time before she turns into a zombie. Andy follows her and embraces her in a tight hug. They return to the road, despite the wife insisting on being left behind for baby's sake. Andy checks in on his wife constantly, but he gets distracted by a lone man, causing him to crash the car into a tree. Fortunately, baby is safe and unharmed in the backseat. However, a tree branch impales the wife in the stomach. Andy hits his head and soon loses consciousness. Hours later, he wakes up only to see his wife's save her instruction. Andy immediately tries to wake his wife, but discovers that she has been transformed into a zombie with brownish lime covering her eyes and mouth. Andy reaches baby when his wife tries to bite her. He endures the pain and exits the vehicle with the baby. Andy puts down baby not far from him while he approaches his wife. Although it truly breaks his heart, Andy has to use the injection on her before she can infect more. After shouting about his agony and pain, Andy takes the bracelet from her and wears it. He then begins traveling by foot with baby on his back. The baby cries the whole time on his back, so he calms her down by spraying his wife's perfume. While resting, Andy notices the man that had caused their crash and approaches to blame him. However, Andy realizes he's a zombie, so he picks up the tree branch to defend himself and baby. Suddenly, Thumi comes running and shouts at Andy to leave the zombie alone, her father. She then cuts her palm with a rock and wipes her blood on a tree to distract him away. Andy returns to traveling on foot until he arrives at a town and enters an abandoned school. While searching the rooms, Andy finds a retired teacher. She knows Andy is infected by the bracelet on his wrist, but she ignores that and helps him clean his wound. She informs Andy that all the aboriginal people have left the land, including many of her former students. Later that day, while outside, Andy sees a fire in the distance started by the aboriginals. A woman is also seen calling for Thumi, who's hiding. That night, Andy goes to the neighboring hospital and has his first seizure. 
After waking up the next day, he meets the teacher, who was kind enough to take care of baby last night. She gives him a family picture and instructs him to find a man, who turns out to be Thumi's father. She also says that the man can provide baby with a second chance to live. The teacher explains that the fires created by the aboriginals' hunting parties are to cleanse the land. She warns Andy to stay out of their range. Andy expresses his gratitude for all the help before leaving with Baby. On his journey, Andy stops at some ruins to give Baby water, passing by several zombies with their heads on the ground as they are sensitive to light. Andy hastily leaves the area, unaware that one of the zombies has risen up and proceeds to follow him. Not long after, Andy finds a truck and attempts to hijack it when a man named Vic stops him and pulls the trigger on the zombie that Andy is unaware of, saving him and Baby. Vic is trapped under a tank and instructs Andy to get him out of there. In return, you will give them a place to stay for a while. Vic gives the key to Andy, who drives the car fast enough to pull the tank out from Vic, freeing him. Vic gets in the truck and takes over the driver's seat, escaping the approaching zombies. Shortly after, they arrive at Vic's shelter, an outpost formerly part of the gas plant. There, Andy meets Vic's wife, Lorraine, who's surprised to see virus survivors like them. While Vic checks the gas nearby, Lorraine shares Vic's plan when things return to normal. However, they both know that it's a dead hope as it's far from happening. Minutes later, Vic returns and insists Andy comes with him to work. Vic drives the truck to work, which means shooting a group of zombies and collecting their valuables, as he believes that when everything returns to normal, people will want riches again. Vic attracts zombies by imprisoning healthy humans inside the cages as bait. He teaches Andy how to shoot first, and once the zombies are all dead, they approach the cage. Andy cannot deny his shock as he finds Thumi inside, but he remains calm while Vic collects the zombies' valuables. Andy questions Vic's methods, but Vic threatens to kick them out of his place and leave them in the land full of zombies. In the shelter, the power goes out suddenly. Lorraine tries to calm Baby down when she discovers the brownish lime on Baby's stomach. On the other hand, Vic takes Andy to another cage, where an old man is imprisoned. Vic pours blood on the ground and tosses a dead zombie's intestines into the cage, before turning on the radio to lure the zombies. The old man remains calm, ignoring Vic's doing to harm him. After questioning himself for a moment, Andy returns to the shelter with Vic. Lorraine tells Andy that Baby is sleeping. She also mentions that she has cleaned up Baby, subtly indicating that she knows Andy is infected. Later that day, Vic and Lorraine are asleep while Andy plays with Baby. Andy puts her down in a makeshift crib as his hands start spasming uncontrollably. He holds his tears as he kisses Baby on the forehead before leaving the shelter with the injection. He hides in the gas plant and encourages himself to end his life before he can infect his daughter. However, he cannot bring himself to use it. Just then, Lorraine arrives with Baby, asking him to stop. Andy has less than 24 hours before he fully transitions into a zombie, so Lorraine suggests they leave Vic. She confesses that she's not Vic's wife and that Vic let her husband die along with other gas plant workers to save himself. While Andy thinks of a plan, Vic suddenly arrives and knocks Andy out. Later that night, Andy wakes up and finds himself in a cage with Thumi. Andy thinks of an escape plan and convinces Thumi to help him escape. Thumi agrees, but she wants the keys to the old man's cage. They see the zombies approaching, so Andy uses the entrails to attract them even more. Once they are near, Andy tosses the entrails on the ground and uses the zombies' combined force to open their cage. Once they are out, they run to the shelter and rescue Lorraine and Baby. They also steal the keys to the cages and chains before running away. However, they're not even that far when Vic emerges and shoots at them. Suddenly, Lorraine uses her body to protect them, sacrificing herself for them to escape. Andy and Thumi run away from the shelter, while Vic runs to Lorraine. Thumi takes Andy to the old man's cage, only to find it empty. They hide as they hear Vic's truck approaching. Andy covers Baby's mouth to keep her silent until Vic finally leaves. That day, they spend the night in a small glutch. Thumi awakens to Andy's heavy breathing. She hides with Baby, while Andy rubs his face against the blood on the rocks. Andy returns to his senses the following day and asks Thumi to guide him to the river. While walking, they talk about Thumi's father, prompting Thumi to run to check on her dad. That time, the same woman calling Thumi leads the jacket of Thumi's father on a tree limb. Shortly after, Thumi arrives to see her father straddled up atop the tree, dead as dry salted fish. Andy finds her, trying to comfort her, but Thumi claims not to care about him, so he leaves. He is not even far when he begins to have another seizure until he loses consciousness. While Thumi remains at the tree, silently grieving, she hears Baby's cries, prompting her to go after them. Andy wakes up looking for Baby, only to find her in Thumi's arms. Thumi simply says where the river is. In a short matter of time, they reach the shore and travel by motorboat to the campsite, where Andy saw the family from earlier. 
They find the family's RV empty. Andy goes to search for the family and soon finds the family and meets the father, who has been bitten, and shows him the revolver again. The father shows him that it contains six bullets and tells him he can have the remaining two if he leaves them alone. Andy retreats, but he soon hears three gunshots in the air. The fourth is delayed, as the father uses it on himself, collapsing behind Andy. He takes the revolver and debates whether he should shoot himself. Fortunately, Thumi arrives, having removed her leaves from her shoes. She tells Andy that she's ready to go home. She also puts the white ashes on baby's face, just like hers, so the zombies cannot smell them. Andy doesn't need it, as he already smells like one. They set off together toward the site of smoke on a nearby hill, indicating that the aboriginals are there. As they pass through a tunnel, they unexpectedly encounter Vic. Thumi hides with Baby inside a parked vehicle, while Andy tries to distract Vic. Andy pretends to be one of the hibernating zombies, before attacking Vic and pulling the trigger. However, he missed both times. Defeated, Andy is unable to help Thumi, who is pulled out of the vehicle, causing Thumi to hit her head on the rails. While Thubi lies unconscious, Vic takes Baby and cradles her in his arms. Andy soon recovers, only to see Vic holding Baby while lamenting the incidental death of Lorraine. Andy successfully convinces him to give Baby back before returning to the now-awakened Thumi and leaving with her and Baby, abandoning a grieving Vic in the tunnel full of zombies. While on the way, Andy has another lapse and almost indulges in decayed meat. As he returns to his senses, he straps the decaying meat on his waist before continuing to walk. However, Andy has another lapse and knows it is his time, so he asks Thumi to promise to look after Baby. Andy shares a farewell before placing a guard in his mouth, binding his wrists, and wrapping the meat on a stick. He then succumbs and his eyes crust. With his signal, Thumi gets on his back and holds the stick. Meanwhile, while raiding out the zombies, the aboriginals hear Thumi calling out to them with a whistle. A woman replies to her, who turns out to be her mother. The warriors detain Andy, while Baby and Thumi are welcomed by her mother and the rest. One of the warriors attempts to end Andy with a spear, but Thumi stops him. She takes out his wife's perfume bottle and sprays it one last time for Andy. He returns to his senses for a moment and realizes that Baby is safe. Thumi then nods at the warrior, signaling him to put Andy out of his misery. After raiding out, the aboriginal people travel to their refuge, where they are welcomed heartily. While Thumi and her mother inspect Baby, the words thank you are read on her stomach, written in white paint to disguise her scent from the zombies. The film ends with Andy's plaid shirt and Baby's fishing bait mobile hung on a tree, showing the aboriginal tribe's traditions for mourning the death. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.